day. Welcome again to our math tutorial. For quarter 3, week 5, we will be solving corresponding parts of congruent triangles. I will be giving you three examples for you to understand the lesson. So sit back, relax, and enjoy learning. Find the values of x and y given the triangle MAS is congruent to triangle NER. From the given, M corresponds to N, A corresponds to E, S corresponds to R. So we can say, angle M is congruent to angle N, angle A is congruent to angle E, angle S is congruent to angle R. Then segment MA is congruent to segment NE, segment AS is congruent to segment ER. Segment MS is congruent to segment ER. So since we are to solve for X, we can use angle E is congruent to angle A. So we can say that measure angle E is equal to measure angle A. Then we substitute, measure angle E with 16x, and measure angle A with 112. So using the division property of equality, we can divide both sides by 16. So 16 divided by 16 is 1, so we have their x, and then 112 divided by 16 is 7. Therefore, the value of x is 7. To solve for y, we will use NR is congruent to segment MS. So since they are congruent, we can say that NR is equal to MS. Substitute the value of NR, which is 3x plus 5y, equals the value of MS, which is 41. Since we have the value of x, we will substitute x with 7. Copy plus 5 equals 41. 3 times 7 is 21 plus 5, 8 equals 41. By subtraction property of equality, so 5y is equals to 41 minus 21. 5y equals 41 minus 21, that is 20. So using the division property of equality, we divide both sides by 5. That gives us y is equal to 4. So the value of x is 7 and the value of y is 4. Given that measure angle ABC, is equal to 2x plus 30 degrees. Measure angle PQR is equal to 55 degrees. And measure angle RPQ is equal to 65 degrees. Solve for the value of x. So from the given, P is congruent to angle C because they have the same number of tick marks. Angle Q is congruent to angle A because they have the same number of tick marks. And then angle B is congruent to angle R. Given is ABC, meaning this angle measures 2x plus 30 degrees. Then angle PQR so this one measures 55 degrees. And then angle RPQ, so this angle measures 65 degrees. But we don't have the measure of angle R. So we cannot solve for X if we cannot get the value of R. So we will solve first the measure of angle R. Now remember, the sum of the interior angles of a triangle 
is equal to 180 degrees. So we can say measure angle Q plus measure angle P plus measure angle R is equal to 180 degrees. Then we substitute the value. Measure angle Q is 55 plus measure angle P which is 65 plus measure angle R equals 180. 55 plus 65 is 120 plus measure angle R equals 180 degrees. Then using the subtraction property of equality, we can say that measure angle R is equal to 180 minus 120. So 180 minus 120, that is 60. Therefore, the value of measure angle R is equal to 60. Now, since we already have this value, which is 60 degrees, we can now compute for the value of x. So measure angle B is equal to measure angle R. So since B is 2x plus 30, we will equate it to the value of R, which is 60. Then applying the concept of subtraction property of equality, we have there 2x is equal to 60 minus 30. And that gives us 2x equals 30. Then using the division property of equality, we divide both sides by 2. So that will give us x is equal to 15. So to solve this problem, the value of x is equals to 15. Solve for the value of x. So let's look at the figure. We have there angle N is congruent to angle R. Angle L is congruent to angle S. And then angle M is congruent to angle T. Given there angle T is 2x plus 30. And then angle L is 65. And angle N is 55. So how are we going to solve for x? So since T is congruent to angle M, we have to find first the measure of angle M. So same concept with the second example. We can say that measure angle M plus measure angle N plus measure angle L that is equal to 180. Then angle M is unknown plus angle N which is 55 and plus angle L which is 65 equals 180. So we combine both numbers that gives us 120. equals 180. By subtraction property of equality, measure angle M is equal to 180 minus 120. And 180 minus 120 is equals to 60. Therefore, measure angle M is 60 degrees. So we can now solve for the value of X. Measure angle T is equal to measure angle M. We substitute angle T with 2x plus 30 and angle M with 60. Then applying the, sub the subtraction property of equality, we can say that 2x is equal to 60 minus 30. And 60 minus 30 is 30. Applying the division property of equality, we divide both sides by x and that gives us 15. So therefore, to solve this problem, the value of x is 15. Good job, everyone. See, it's just that simple. 
I hope everything is clear to you. Thank you for listening and have a good day. See you next week. Once again, this is Bunyasa Kappa, your math teacher.